Welcome to the first video of a new series that I'm making, which I'm probably going to call the Link Tutorial Series. And the goal of this video series that I'm preparing is to give you a comprehensive guide on Link. I'm going to show you all the features that Link has, all the little bits and pieces and things that you need to toggle so that you can become a Link master in no time. And the way I'm thinking about doing this is I'm gonna prepare very short videos, little mini clips that you can watch, and these clips will build up on knowledge from previous one. So today we're gonna start with the super, super basics of Link. I'm just gonna tell you what Link is and and the different kinds of subscriptions that are available. So let's start with the first question. What is Link? In short, Link is a software that enables you to learn a language to build your comprehension of a language using content that you enjoy. You can do this by either using content that is already available in the platform or by uploading your own content. In this way, you can learn with YouTube videos ebooks, Netflix subtitles, web pages, anything in your target language. Link is available both for web and mobile versions and they have applications for both iOS users and Android users. The number of languages that you can learn on Link is 37. So there's really a bunch of languages you can choose from. Now the second question is, is Link free? Do you need to pay to use Link? What kinds of subscriptions does Link offer? Now Link is mainly a paid service. There is a free version that you can use, but it is extremely limited in the amount of words that you can actually save. So I don't really recommend people to stay with the free version because in order to really get the maximum out of Link, you will need to pay for a monthly or annual service. The free version, in my opinion, is pretty much useless. It's just there to give you kind of a gist of how Link works and how you can save words, but it's really just that. It's not really usable in terms of learning. Now, I'm going to show you the different kinds of subscriptions for Link here on my computer so that you can understand a little better. The first kind of subscription you can do is the monthly one. Now the prices are all in euros because I'm in Italy, but you can pretty much guess how much that'll be in your currency, but you can always check the link website for that. But I usually use the monthly one because if by any chance I want to stop using link for any reason I can just do that instead with a yearly or bi-yearly subscription then it feels like I'm just more tied to a certain software which is not necessarily what I want to do so I just prefer paying monthly but you can choose there's a monthly subscription $12.99 a month the six months one which is $11.99 a month but you pay 71 euros 94 upfront for six months and and then it's renewed every six months or you could do the yearly one which goes at $8.99 a month but again you pay up front for the whole year so that's $107.88 and then there's the 24 month subscription which goes for $7.99 a month a total of $191.76 euros paid up front but you can see that there is a premium and premium plus now a lot of users get really confused about the difference between premium and premium plus so I just feel like I want to explain it to you so that you can make an informed decision. With the premium, you basically get all Link's features, as you can see in this little chart. So you might want to ask then, what does the Premium Plus do, right? Now, the Premium Plus gives you access to, as it said here, everything from Premium, plus 3,000 points for real-time tutoring, text correction, and Premium Lessons. Now, what Premium Lessons mean is that Generally, most content on Link is free if you pay for the subscription. So I pay $12.99 a month and I get access to all the lessons that are in the Link library. But some creators, that is people who actually make lessons for Link, some creators might want to choose to make some of their lessons premium. So you need to pay extra for those. If you have a premium plus account, 
on link then you have 3000 link points to use in order to gain access for these premium lessons i know it's confusing i'll go a little bit more in depth about what link points mean what's the difference between the link points and the coins that you have on link which i know it's extremely confusing and i don't like how link manages this kind of stuff because it makes it confusing for people at least in my opinion but yeah i'll try to go a little bit more in depth on tutoring and text correction as well but just for now know that the premium plus gives you everything from the link premium but it also gives you this kind of extra points that it's like technically extra cash that you can use for extra services like the premium lessons tutoring and stuff like that now the difference in the price is pretty stark because from the $12.99 a month for the premium account the premium plus asks for $39.99 a month now do I recommend having a premium plus account no I don't I don't think it's useful and I'll briefly explain you why but you'll understand it better in the next videos that I'm gonna make but the reason why I don't recommend the premium plus it's because first of all premium lessons are not really a thing on link because you can import your own content and you can do that for free so there's no point in, in my opinion, in paying for extra lessons when you got YouTube stuff to import or Netflix shows to import for free, at least for the price of a premium subscription. And another reason is because I haven't really encountered any premium lesson on Link. Like I've been using Link for mainly Spanish, Korean, Russian, a little bit of Portuguese, tiny little bit of Chinese, and I've never encountered a premium lesson on link so my guess is that these premium lessons are not only useless at least in my opinion but extremely rare to find so there's no point in paying 40 euros a month for this and then as far as the tutoring and correction goes i haven't really seen a huge tutoring community on link i don't think that the majority of people that use link also use it for tutors. I've applied to be a link tutor and no one has ever contacted me for an Italian tutoring lesson. So I don't really think that people just use this. So you basically pay 30 euros more for pretty much useless stuff, at least in my opinion. So yeah, I don't really recommend doing this. Just ignore the premium plus if you're noodling and just use the premium i would say the monthly because it's a, it's a little bit less of a commitment so you can just maybe try it out a couple of months see if you like it or not and then you can move on to another app if you don't like it but i prefer not being super committed to a software because i know that maybe next month there will be a new software that i like more than link and i just want to use that one so I don't really like the huge commitment long term to a software but that's again up to you in any case just don't use the premium plus just go for the normal premium and that's it for this tutorial now this was very very basic information but very important because it's related to the money that you're gonna spend and in the next lesson we're gonna just briefly see the main areas as I like to call them the workspaces of link and briefly tell you about what each of these spaces do. Thank you.